Hi, I'm Tim Webb from Discord.com, and I've been asked to show you the new features in Audio Evolution Mobile's 5.0 update. Audio Evolution is available on iOS and Android, and I'm gonna be showing you the Android in these videos because it is a lot of fun to play around with a full featured Android music app. Like, I'm really excited about this. It's got a just a full on DAW worth of features in here, and the update really improves the workflow. And that's what this first video is gonna mainly focus on. Give you kind of an overview and show you how these changes make it just so fast and easy to move around in. A lot of the changes in AEM5 greatly improve your workflow. Like zooming is now just a normal action here. You can zoom horizontally or vertically. Make sure you pick up your fingers between those actions because you can't do them both at the same time. And you can easily scroll around at any time using either just dragging through here quickly or at the bottom of the screen, you notice we've got this other thing here that lets us actually uh, preview the whole project and then zoom to a specific portion. You can also tap to get to wherever we want to be. It's also very easy to move around clips. If you tap on a given clip, you get a whole bunch of different options, but if you hold on it, you now have the ability to just drag it. You see, I got a solid outline on that clip. When I let go of it, I'll use that solid outline. Look at the bottom, uh, you'll see it uh, more clearly there. I got a solid outline, so that means I can now move this around, and that is very nice. And you see that we've got a lot of different controls on any given clip. The top center lets us change the whole clip's volume without changing the track's volume. And the left top gives us a fade in, and the right top gives us a fade out. The rectangles on the side let us trim the clip. And the dots at the bottom give us a whole bunch of different options. We can re rename, remove, and undo. <laughs> you can undo everything. These fade ins are super useful. So let me uh, give you a, a, a real world example here. I've got some stuff that sounds pretty good together. But when it all comes together like that, it, it doesn't sound so great. So uh, rather than like, getting into some kind of fancy automation here where I've got to try to draw in uh, something on our track volume or indeed playing with the track volume at all, I can just use the clips fade in and then say, well, let's give this some time to kind of come into the mix rather than throwing everything at the listener. And let's hear how that sounds now. It's a much gentler thing, so once all the parts are there, it sounds better together. The grid function in AM is really nice. So there's the usual thing here where we can say we we'll want to have a grid at whatever size, but there's also a clip magnet. So if I uh, now hold down, so I've got a solid outline around this and I can even move it around. Watch how the clip stops. It's kind of jerky, like it's super smooth over here, but as soon as it comes near any clips, it tries to snap to them, and that is super useful. Another use for the grid is when you want to set a very specific grid to split or slice out a sample. So uh, if let's take a look at these drums here. I know that uh, if I set the grid to eighth notes here, I can set the playhead over here. So the way that this uh, drum loop goes, it's a... Uh, uh, kick snare and then over here this should just be oh we sw swap over to display and snap to grid here so we can see it here as i move my finger around this should be just a kick so i can now select this clip and tap the split up in the top left and now move it forward and select the clip and split again and now i've got just the kick isolated so I can copy that and I can undo all my splitting and now I could paste that kick right into my line here so let's uh, listen to that uh, another very useful function that's in here is uh, see the three dots give us the track clip options or the clip track options I can set loop markers to clip bounds and now our loop which are these yellow things just automatically snap to this we can uh, solo this yep we got the kick all right with our kick isolated let's try to make an exciting sort of build up here so i'm gonna hold on this to now get the solid outline so i can move it 
over here. And if I bring up the clip options, I can repeat this three times. And now we should have an exciting build into the uh, elements all coming together. And that was super fast and easy, right? These next two tools I'm gonna to show you are super useful and you're gonna be using them a whole bunch. <laughs> Often when you're making a song, you're gonna to wanna to repeat sections or phrases of it. And there are a couple of ways to do that in AEM. I'm gonna show you both of them now. The first one I wanna show you is select. Let's say that I wanna copy all of the bits on this side where I'm tapping around. I wanna get all of those bits and copy them. So I'll use the select tool to actually select multiple clips. And I can close the select tool. It keeps the selection here though. And now I can copy this and by moving my playhead to wherever I want it to be, let me change my grid back to bar so that I can be neat. I can just paste. And if you get that error, that means that you've uh, switched tracks. Like that was trying to put the MIDI on the audio. So if I come back to the top track, it knows where to paste this now. All right, so we've got our our whole thing just copied over like that, including this gap. You see that there's a, a gap here, which is something you'd uh, occasionally want. But let's say that I want to make a copy that doesn't include that gap. So we've got this, this clip here that's taking up two bars, and I want to just cut that in half. And uh, we're going to use the range tool to do that. So now I'm, I'm hitting range, which is next to the select up in the top left. I can now drag my finger and select an area. And after you've done that, you see I've released my finger, you can refine that selection. And you can drag this across multiple tracks. So now I've got this uh, four bar selection across three tracks, and that includes splitting one clip in half. Now once you have the selection, don't use the top buttons to copy and paste. Instead, what you wanna do is tap directly onto the highlighted section. And now we get range options. So we can do a lot of different things like a crossfade in the range and do all this other stuff. Uh, there's uh, a lot, set the loop markers to range. Like there's just a whole bunch of different things, but let's specifically look now at copying this range. And now as I move over to here, so now if I hold down on this track here, we can paste in. Now you see I missed there. Uh, <laughs> let me show you some other tools that we have here. If I go back into select, I can now select all these pieces. So I come out of select here. I can now move all these selected pieces. And you can also do other things like uh, uh, do this trim. You see that the, the uh, bottom and top tracks are, have clips that can actually be stretched out, but the middle one doesn't. So it doesn't try to stretch that out. But I can stretch them in and uh, you can apply the fade to everything. But notice that it's not doing that on this first clip of the third track. It doesn't have any of the crossfade information that the copy retained from the original. But once again, you can just easily select the bits that you want. By getting out of select, I can get into the move mode here and just move it all perfectly into position. And that's something you're gonna do a whole lot when you're making a song. Now, remember how I showed you the fade in on this audio clip? You can do the same thing with MIDI clips, uh, which is really cool. I believe that it's affecting the, the velocity of the MIDI notes. So we've got these, the same exact kind of controls on this MIDI, right? We've got the, the trim, we've got our fade out and our volume and we can now do a fade in here and you can hear that. Oops. Uh, right now this is soloed. All right, now you can hear that. Like, that's that's just amazing, right? We, we did a fade in on a MIDI clip. That's really cool. Uh, let's see, I've showed you the clip options. Uh, there's also track options, which can be quite handy. Just holding in an empty track brings up the track options. So we could do things like remove the track, uh, rename the track, or uh, which is uh, a more common task where we want to move the track up or down. So let's take this fourth one and make it the third. 
and now they just swapped positions. If you double tap the timeline, you get marker options, which are a whole bunch of different uh, useful things. One of the most useful is the, the tempo time signature change, which we will uh, play around with in a future video. But I wanted to show you in this video that uh, if you double tap on the timeline, that brings up the marker options so you can change and remove things as needed. So let me show you everything that I've shown you, uh, but in, a, in an actual context here of me you know, trying to compose here. So uh, let's, let's take our exciting drum thing that we did here, and we're going to copy that and do unselect range so we can scroll around now. Uh, bring our playhead over to the very start. Is remember the section I just copied includes two blank spots. So I want to make sure that my playhead is all the way over as far as I can to the left. And when I hold down for my track options, I want to paste at time marker. And there it, it happened exactly as I hoped, where I've got my two blank spots and then it uh, has the buildup. So we should now hear our uh, bass slowly coming in with our fade in and then the exciting buildup. Let's take uh, this uh, lead two that we had started working on where we just put a fade in on it. Uh, let's make a bunch of copies of this. So I'm going to repeat it. And it takes that out to here. And uh, this lead two is really, really weird. So let me let me know <laughs> right off the bat. I'm going to definitely want to have some amount of fade in on it. Uh, let's, let's go with that. Um, uh, let's hear what we got. 